I would like you all to meet Levin Amvag. We know that you have an interesting story. In the past, you were a famous racer. Please, tell our guys a little bit about yourself. It's intriguing to know more about you and the story of your life. Yeah, my personal story, before I started with all that kind of things, I was a racing driver, I was driving for Audi Sports, maybe some people know that. And uh, you find it on YouTube and some videos when I was driving back then. I had an accident, a hard one in 2015, where I broke my back two times and I was in hospital and everything. It was a hard time, but uh, it made me what I am today. And right now I'm lucky that it happened because it changed my vision. It brought me to, to the cannabis industry and to, to create something great, what we have right now. Both me and my viewers are curious on how did you come to the cannabis industry? Why did you choose this shape? Tell us more, please. So it was in 2017 when uh, we were in America with my brother, you know, who came with the idea at the beginning, like, let's start a big facility, let's make it like, like the big boys. And we were at the beginning like, oh, but that's poor, why, why should we do it? And then suddenly, you know, we saw it with our own eyes and we were like, okay, when we get back to Switzerland, we start it directly. And that's what we see right now here, you know, it's so much planning involved, so much of a story behind all that kind of things, you know, when we were walking around in America, watching the facilities and seeing all that, and we were like, okay, we had the mindset to go back to Europe and build something crazy, you know, a state-of-the-art facility like no one else in Europe has. And I think it paid off. Well, I have another interesting question for you. We know that you work together with your brother and father. So is it a family business or something? Yeah, the family in the end helped a lot, you know, without the family we wouldn't be here where we are today. My brother came with the idea, my dad helps us a lot, you know, with the development of our company, with uh, the vision, where we want to go, because he has a lot of knowledge in C-level positions, so in high positions, and that helps the company a lot. And also for the future, I think it's important that you have people or a good team, you know, a big team with a lot of people with different mindsets. And uh, through all this knowledge, it helps the company. Here is one more question. How did you all enter this market? Mm -hmm. So how we got on this idea, you know, with everything to make it that big, it started with Severin, my brother, who is a grower at our facility. And it was all the time like we wanted to make it bigger and also we know that cannabis can help the people a lot, you know. It has a lot of benefits for sick people or it can, you know, help people with cancer or pain diseases, older people. And that was the idea behind all that, you know. It's the story behind cannabis that it can help you, it, that we can help some other people. And also now that was the same idea now with the community that we just wanted to create something where we as a community can help others through cannabis. And the next question is the one I'm personally interested in. Now we are in Switzerland. And the whole world associates Switzerland with the highest standards of quality. And during our walk in your factory, we've noticed that your approach is very professional. Almost perfectionist one. Is that your personal allegiance or rather a Swiss mental thing? When we created it, you know, Switzerland has a high standard. You see it with the watches and stuff like that. So Switzerland is known for great quality. And we did a market analysis, you know, and analyzed the market. How are other Swiss companies doing it? And we said, OK, if we do it how we do it right now, we are at the top. We do it on another level, you know. We set a new standard. And that was important to us that we can show Europe-wide that we can build a state-of-the-art facility be prepared for the future because you know the market is all the time developing it's not standing still like okay it's always going to be the same it's all the time new technology technologies come in uh, new uh, grows new strains and 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 for us it was important to build something that is even up to date in five ten years and that what we achieved with that facility here and here is the astonishing moment 
There are more than 7,000 plants growing in your factory. We've been walking there and noticed that a pretty small number of workers is required to serve such a great amount of production. How did it become possible? So in the end, with the state-of-the-art art facility we have right here, we don't need that many employees, you know, because we automated everything we could. The irrigation, nobody has to press a button or open a valve or something like that. It's completely automated. You press one, once a button and the system takes over. The same with the lighting system, you know. It's fully automated. We don't need to care about anything. And that was important as well when we built and designed the facility that we don't need 10, 20, 30 people in one room. That's why we have less employees, but invest more money to build a fully automated system. Nowadays, the European medical cannabis market is rocketing, and everybody admits that. A lot of community members are waiting for the German market to open, and it should happen very soon. Your production is expanding rapidly, and as we can see, we may say there wouldn't be any issues with the sales at all. No, you know, with the quality we have and with the facility behind it, everything, we, have, we don't see any problems why we don't get the products away. We have a lot of requests, so that's not our problem. And, you know, we also focus on new products and, and new innovations. And that's why we are a leader in Europe with our facility and everything. And people watch at us and it's awesome and it's great to see the development of everything. It's really encouraging. And a lot of our guys have a question. Who are your current customers? We work with different countries, you know, at the moment it's Poland, Italy, Switzerland, Austria. And uh, we mainly work with wholesalers at the moment. We are in uh, deep talks with other uh, companies in other countries to, you know, grow our network through Europe and also international. international. And uh, we hope that within the next five years, you know, the whole brand, Kenneral, can be a global brand where people from America buy our brand, where people from India can buy our oils or whatever. And we want to grow together with the community, with you guys. In my hands, I'm holding a sample of your final product. And everybody is interested in how did you manage to adjust the release of your product that fast. It's not a mollage. It's a real CBD oil, a very popular product as we know, and wow, we have only one question. How did you manage to release it that quick? And what are your plans for releasing products? Yeah, you know, our uh, product department, they are working since weeks to develop products and uh, to make it quick because we of course, could wait, you know, and wait and wait. But we have people behind it, you know, we want to push. We are a good team. That's why we push our products. We want to launch several products within 2019. So it's not just going to be the oil. So it's going to come more. But um, I can't tell you too much right now. We are also not going to tell you exactly when it, we're going to launch it. You know, we want to... A little secret still for you. Uh, but it's co coming this year, 100%. And we hope that you're gonna like it and that all the other people are gonna like it. And that's what Canner stands for, you know. Let's talk about Canner Grow Investment Program. The token sale has successfully begun on June 20th. A lot of people have already become Canner Grow's partners or investors. So here is another question. How did you finally come up to this? And why did you give up the ICO despite? planning it several months ago. You know, we didn't want to do the ICO. We invested instead our own money to build everything you see here. So it's not uh, bank money or a loan or anything else. We, we said, OK, we do it. We invest our own money because then you know you also get the motivation. You stand behind it. You, you want that the company grows. And then we came up with the idea, OK, how would it be if other people in other countries could own a cannabis plant, you know? If you could sit at home and that's your plant right here and you could own it and you also could profit from this billion, billion market. And that's how the idea came up to. And uh, it's great to see that as a community, you, you know, that we can grow together. And uh, that's also our slogan, you know, that we want to grow for the commun community and with the community as a company. Exactly.
I have another important question from the investors. As we know, your token sale was fully agreed with the state inspection entity. How did you manage to do this? There was a huge wave of poor quality ICO projects, and there was a great attention to any token sales, especially in Switzerland. But as we know, you managed to reconcile it on a legal basis. You complied with the rules of token sales. How did you manage to do this? Yeah, in the end, you know, we do all according to the Swiss law. It wouldn't be helpful if we would do anything, you know, completely illegal. And in the end, you know what I mean. So uh, it was important for us that we are uh, on a green field. Uh, that's why you also had uh, some lawyers involved, you know. And uh, we do everything according to the Swiss uh, law, the Swiss government laws and these kind of things. Uh, as well with the cannabis, you know, because sometimes the question came up, is that legal in Switzerland? You can grow. And we were like, yeah, look, here is the law. And uh, we are open to every questions, you know, that we answer them uh, as we did with people which came to us, you know, at the table with the lawyers and they asked their questions and we could reply to them. And in the end of the meeting, they were like, ah, OK, we got it now. And uh, that's important. You know, if people have questions, come to us, ask us. We are here for them. We are aware that your company has a really big plans. You're going to expand and build facilities in England and Macedonia. These are really high plans. Please tell us more about this, about your plans and what to expect. Yeah, the England facility, you know, or the location you've seen maybe on the internet, you know, the, the big location, which was a nuclear bunker area in the Cold War, you know, with nuclear missiles. And uh, one of my friends owns the whole site, you know, the whole location, over 320,000 square meters. And we have the chance to cultivate cannabis there. So it's a great story for, you know, the marketing aspect. We can drive around with tanks, you know, we have tanks there. Yeah, of course, it's a great thing. And we are working right now hardcore behind it, you know, that every, we can make everything happen as soon as possible. And the same not Macedonia, but there we are a step further. So there we just wait for the go signal, or pretty much we have the go signal, um, to build there a big greenhouse, you know. And with the greenhouse, we get GMP license. We can cultivate high THC cannabis for Germany, France, you know, for all the countries that need high THC cannabis. And that's a great business, you know. You make more money with it. So it's a win situation for you, a win situation for the company. And again, we can grow together. Macedonia, first of all, grain country, we've been there, you know, we had some meetings with the companies for the greenhouse and the, the location and everything, and they also showed us, you know, the greenhouse they are building right now, and uh, we would uh, build our greenhouse together with them, so, you know, there is already experience in there, so they know how to do it, uh, we can extract the THC oils there, because it's a company uh, from Red Bull or in the umbrella from uh, Red Bull. So it is also a great aspect marketing wise, you know, that we can present ourselves, the company, with bigger companies. And uh, we hope that in Macedonia, you know, that we can create something like here, a state of the art greenhouse where people look at us and that we are, again, that people make pictures from us, you know, and post them on Instagram and uh, Facebook and post like, great company, state-of-the-art factory. And that's what we want to create with the branding, you know, that we want to create things no one else did before us. We want to be the leader in some sort of way. And we hope that we can do that together with you. And also, please tell us a few words about the partnership program. It has united more than a thousand of people. And a lot of partners earn quite a good amount of money with the company. And guys are really happy that they can get the interest income from every harvest. This is truly amazing and, in fact, this is the first project based on the real production on the online investment market. It's really fantastic and a lot of guys are grateful to you. Allow me to express gratitude on behalf of all partners and maybe you would like to say a few words to the folks. Thank you very much, you know. We achieved something great here, you know, it has never been done before. No, nobody else did something like we are doing right now here. And that's why without you, the community, we wouldn't be able to build up our brand. We would not be able to grow together. And that's also our, or it's going to stay our slogan, you know, for the future, it doesn't matter how big we grow as a company, 
we are gonna grow as a communi community and we grow for you. Thanks again and we won't disappoint you in the future and see you soon.